you look at the numbers, they created a system where if you're in the top 10% of your class, then you can go to a white, predominantly white institution. Mm -hmm. And so we have a bunch of black folks who went through predominantly white institutions while they left 90% of black folks behind. I feel that. I, I'm not saying it don't exist. What I'm saying is it, 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 it's not a bigger factor as people make it out to be. My position is that we can allow it to be. We're men. Yeah, yeah. yeah stand up. Stand for something. We have to go hunt something. We have to go take something down. We have to take our power because ain't ain't no other group of men going to be like, oh, man, that, the history just held you down. And I so feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. The you moment, my brother. The moment you feel sorry for me, then I know I'm not no man. You're looking exactly. like I'm some type of bitch or yeah, a child yeah, or something. Yeah, and yeah. I'm not your bitch. Dear America, black men are not your bitches. Dear black men, stop acting like bitches. Please. And I know that might be offensive to you. They're going to treat you like whatever you act like. If you ain't got no balls, then they're going to treat you like you got a coochie. And so as content creators, we have the ability to tell our own story. And I'm so glad that you're telling your own story for your family because your story matters. Absolutely. And I'm going to tell it. I don't care what you call me. And you can tell me my breath look like it stank. You can tell me I got a ball spy. You, I don't care what you tell me. I'm still going to tell the truth. We didn't had black elites and black intellectuals tell my black story for the last hundreds of years. And I'm like, hey, you're going to stop co-opting my story. I'm going to tell my own story, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm Let me benefit off my story. Hey, Dr. Umar, you got a, a PhD? Have a conversation with me so we can discuss how we help impoverish black Half folks. these folks don't even know what it's like to be in the positions that we're in. They're so far up there, like a Barack Obama. They're so far up there that they, what they're, the, the things that they're spitting are just things that they heard before. They don't really understand what it is to be impoverished. If you don't go to work every day, you don't have a place to live and your children don't have food to eat. This exactly. Is a fact. That's a fact. Hey, I live in the projects. And if I do not fight for my family, if I don't fight for my woman, if I don't show up, man, I'm going to be here forever. Yeah. <laughs> Cause ain't nobody gonna show up for you. Ain't nobody finna show up for me. Yeah. Ain't nobody finna come knock on my door and say, I got something for you. I got a house for you. I got nah. a car for you. Nah. I got some food for you. That's just not the existence that we live in. Nah. And so if we don't claim our power and decide to be powerful entities, then they're gonna continue to just take advantage of us. And it seems like that's what we want. We, the black community is so filled with black women and emotions. Black men are chasing behind black women. They have completely just disregarded the God order. God, man, woman, child. And black men had them put the black woman above God. Yeah, yeah. You know how many hoteps, conscious black folks done said that the black woman is God? Oh, yeah. yeah. The black the goddesses. The black woman is God. <laughs> we all kings and queens. No. Nah. Man, you must not know what a what a monarchy is. No, I'm trying to they tell don't you. even understand the structure of, of, of politics. Man, if, if there's a king, there's a whole bunch of servants in the kingdom. And that's what I was just about to say. If we all kings and queens, where the servants at? White people. <laughs> White people. Lord have mercy. I'm waiting on the day for Jesus to return. And when Jesus returns, all these all white these black, all the white people going to hell, the black people going to heaven. Now nah, they're gonna be my servants. A white people gonna be slaves. Now I'm finna be king. I'm gonna be the master of all these white folks. Oh my goodness. I don't see nowhere in the Bible where it talk about uh black people are, are more superior. That's because you're reading the Bible wrong. Oh, okay. The Bible is written by black folks for black folks, and it was co-opted by white folks, and they used it against <laughs> black folks so that white people could be in power. That sounds like a whole bunch of white, black bullshit. <laughs>